Right, Tim, you've got to calm down. <laughs> you're, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> you're trying to use too much power too soon. This episode, following on from the last EV only track day part one, we're going to be focusing on a Porsche Boxster EV conversion with a large Tesla drive unit and also a modified ID3. As you can see in the background, this is how you drive properly around the track. And this is John in his TiVo Model 3 performance with all those lovely parts we went through in part one. As you can see, the first clip is not how to drive at all, and that was me. Anyway, enjoy the episode. We just happened to bump into Nev with a Porsche Boxster EV conversion. And not only is it an EV conversion, but it's got a large drive unit in it. Woo! Yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, how did it all come about, Nev? I mean, is this something you've built yourself? Uh, help build. Uh, yep. I run a company. Uh, a, the customer came to us and asked us, can we put a large drive unit in his Boxster? Why the hell not? It's what we do. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we did this probably about 18, uh, started it about 18 months ago. Yep. And it's been daily driven for at least the last year. Um, large drive unit. It's got a very small battery pack. But right. Where he was doing this as a bit of a hobby, uh, he, he didn't want to spend the money, spend loads of money on big batteries. So he's got a 16 kilowatt Chevy Volt hybrid battery in it. Okay, yeah. Um, but it does about 50 miles, and for him, day to day, back and forward to work every day, perfect. You know, and it's large drive unit Tesla quick. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm sure least. it spins those wheels rather well uh, when you put the, the yeah, hammer down. Yeah, all day. It will, at full power, this is actually turned down for daily use, but at full power, it's going to spin them at 50 mile an hour easy. It's, it's a bit of a handful, you know, but great fun to drive. No, and I of bet. Course it's a box day, it's Porsche. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, the weight's about the same as well. We haven't added any extra weight, you know, and the balance, everything's where the old motor and, and drive used to be in transmission. Yeah. So we put, we've put back almost to the kilo exactly the same weight that we took out oh brilliant so yeah it's it's just a box stuff and, and how does it handle i mean does is the weight of the large drive unit is it very similar characteristics yeah. to how it was prior i don't think it handles any different really okay uh, you know he's got a few a bit of a budget set of tires on it <laughs> right so they will be changed ditch finders he's, he's learned that lesson now right, right. so uh, this is kind of developing further yeah, yeah yeah oh yeah um we're probably going to end up with a bigger battery in it at some point. Yeah. Uh, but he's tossing up the idea of doing more to this or to build himself a much nicer classic car. There's, funnily enough, so much oh, room I, in them. I can hear some noise on Wait. the EV track day. Oh, that was a tyre squeak. That was, it was, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Although I think yours is uh, one of the loudest uh, EVs here, actually. It makes some amazing it noises. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is good, it is good. You know, it, it's entertaining um, and, and it definitely turns heads. You, you drive past a crowd of people and Hang on a moment. I didn't hear that. Yeah. You, you know. And it's all it's all legal as well. It's it's been through DVLA and VOSA. It's all been approved. We are now on the green little electric car plates. It's green registered. plates. It's tax free. Yeah. Yeah, because it's pre two thousand and one, of is. course. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's all. Yeah. You can do it to others later, but you still have to pay the tax. Yes. Which is a bit of a pain. Yes. You know. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Uh, you know. Uh, hammer this around the track yeah, and, out for a few laps, yeah. and uh, it's good to see that you got it on charge to maximize the the range as well <laughs> just top up yeah, absolutely. absolutely yeah and um yeah it's so it's so good to see you're you're the only ev converted car here yeah and well, shocked, uh really you know well the tv is not done yet well, not yet, Nev. Not yet. Oh, i'm hoping it's going to take good. a bit longer than 18 months but <laughs> I, i'm that is more of a hope than a guarantee yeah, so yeah, yeah. So no, it's it's great, great to see it here. Yeah, and yeah. Um, and if you've got any other plans, any other cars that you're thinking about doing conversions on? Uh, yeah, we, we do a bit of like early air cooled Porsches. So we, we're doing a we're producing a, a again a, a, a do it yourself bolting kit for the early 911s. We've got, yeah. we're gonna at Christmas probably start on our crazy project, which is a oh, yeah. Tesla powered Oof. 993 GT. Now we're talking, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're just all carbon fiber carbon brakes just try and make the car as light and as crazy as we can okay for this exact reason let's yeah. go for some track days Absolutely, let's enjoy yeah. it let's see what we can do uh, uh, and, and stuff like that so watch this space right so like a like an everati build but even more power even more even more yeah. with a bit yeah. of uh, four-wheel drive yeah, and, perhaps and, and, and no carpets no right? carpets Bucket right seats four-wheel yeah. drive Go, back to basics, basically. Yeah, oh, okay. we, we, I don't think we're going to paint it. We're going to leave it bare carbon because paint weighs oh, too much. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah, good shout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be awesome, you know. Uh, but, of course, everything costs money. No, for sure, so for sure. we do it as we go, you know, in a bit of spare time. Can you show us under the, yeah. I would say the hood. 
But you've um, obviously got a fruit, very, uh, or a, boot, a frunk, fruit or a frunk. A trunk, trunk. A fruit, a fruit, yeah. Very yeah, much yeah. like a test already, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's nothing under the boot. Uh, it's completely empty. We've still got all the luggage storage, the whole lot. Brilliant. So that is that is really handy and easy. Yep. Um, if you come under here, we'll yep. the cover off. Yes, that's definitely a Tesla large drive unit in there. Yeah, which you can actually see quite a lot in, involved, you know, obviously inside is all the battery boxes there's a stack there and another oh, stack underneath what's the battery box made of here stainless steel stainless steel yeah okay because yeah. i know a lot of people use um sort of mild steel as well don't they is yeah. i suppose from a weight point of view the alley's a good idea and alley is a, to a point we did it in stainless because it's out in the elements um, and we've got the uh, accessibility to the material and we just thought yeah you know what let's just make them in stainless nice and easy okay. they're not going to rust we don't have to paint them you know, they can just go straight in, you know. Um, and what about the strength? And I, I know I've heard some people say that Ali's not quite as strong as the mild steel, but is... If it's if it's designed right, right, then the structure will be strong. Okay. And strong enough. Okay. So, you know, um, as I say, this it's out in the elements. We wanted it strong, uh, so we just did it in stainless steel, you know, uh, because we could. Yeah, that's the only reason because we could and, and i thought it'd be a nicer touch and the shafts are they custom shafts or no they're, no they're all standard boxed up uh we do an adapter that welds onto the stub of the tesla drop outputs yep and then your standard box to shaft bolting oh brilliant so really not a lot custom there's the high voltage junction box there yeah the rest of the electronics are tucked in behind where the original car ecu would be yep in the boot uh, and then the tesla chargers just in the front fruit front whatever you want to call it one of them <laughs> um and um inside the vehicle what's uh what tells you how much range you've got and if you want to jump in this side i'll show you okay it's even got the porsche mats look at that hey flash oh hello this looks good right so uh we have a 12 volt gauge right uh, it still runs a 12 volt car battery to okay, run yeah. everything else absolutely we run a chevy Volt, a Chevy Volt or Chevy Bolt, I really can't remember what it's called. The Chevy Volt DC to DC, which takes the 400 volts down to 12 volts. Okay. And acts almost like an, an alternator on a normal car and charges the normal 12 volt to run the vehicle. Battery monitor there that yep. gives us the voltage on the car's 12 volt as all the electrics still run 12 volts. Um, and then we also have the SIMP BMS, which is the battery man management service. This is the little screen for that that tells us state of charge, what we're charging at technically with the fuel pump how much fuel we've got or how yep. much is left in the the tank that's a good little you know, lcd screen that tells you it is you yeah know, yeah and then and then we can flow through and, and start looking at all the different things charge amps the actual main pack voltage and the all the different little bits and bobs the temperatures yeah. of everything temperature of the batteries etc etc that looks good uh yeah uh, and and there's you can you can flick through and do other little bits you can set how where the maximum charge is we could set that at 80 percent. you know how a lot of cars say oh don't charge it fully charged yeah. constantly so we can tame it down but i'll be honest we just fully charge it every time <laughs> enough said uh we've because the um with regards to the charging i mean what's yeah. the charge on it how many kilowatts it's an 11 kilowatt model s tesla charger onboard yeah. charger so really maximum we could charge through the type 2 socket is, is 10 kilowatts 10 11 kilowatts okay uh, at the moment we're plugged into the mains uh, yep. yeah uh because we might as well top up yeah you know, trickling it in yeah it. if we're going to do a few laps you know it's not a big battery so we might as well keep it topped as much as we can you know and this uh is this wired up this is the box? normal auto unit yep this is totally wired up the key oh, is wow. totally wired up Brilliant. um we literally select reverse to go reverse and we literally select drive to go drive oh, that's epic it, it is it. literally two micro switches that's brilliant and and that's all rigged up and so all the dials are they uh, we're working on the dials we've yep. got most of them working uh again it's just someone to develop the software do the coding and work all through can to get all that working uh but yeah it, it's all getting there and at, at one point this should all be working you know uh Brilliant. and bits and bobs so uh, it's pretty simple you know just a sort of simple easy build really i'm jealous Great. It's, it's awesome i love it i love it's it just just red stop button yeah just in case it all goes wrong <laughs> <laughs> Always need one of those kind of buttons. Let's, let's be honest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's brilliant in here, yeah. and I'm really, really impressed. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for showing us. Uh, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Um, can have a quick look in the yeah. fruit. Fr frunk. 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 Fruit. Fruit. Yep. One certainly. Under the front. Here we go. Okay. Brilliant. So, still good space in there. Oh crikey! Yeah, you can still get. Well, I had my hold all of my drinks and all that sort of stuff in here this morning going to the hotel. Um, 
Yeah, it's there. Uh, he does have a cover that covers it. Uh, yep. that he's just made out of a bit of wood and carpeted it. Okay. So really, once it's open, you can't see anything. Yep. Uh, and yeah, there's still, I'd, I'd say 70, 80% of the space still in there. So still very practical. Um, big charger, and then obviously just the, the, the charging box and junction for all sure. the wires. Uh, you can see just there, that's our brake biasing uh, switch. So we can actually change the regeneration braking, how hard we brake. So the harder we brake, the more it regens. Yep. So it, it was one we had it set originally, or Paul had it set originally, quite high. And until racing around with some Tesla, he lifted off mid bend, and it was. It, that, yeah, that this it was is, a bit of a moment. Well, this is something that um, yeah. myself and the builder of the TVR have been talking about. You know how much regen to have, so you're not kind of exactly yeah. exactly yeah. that. Yeah, it was a bit of a moment. He said, "Right, okay, now we need to change that. So back that right off. It right. still regens on general driving. Again, you can adjust every parameter on it. You yeah. know, uh, but put that in just so we can maximise the regen effect." once you're braking as well and just try and get as much as we can back into the batteries you know so yeah uh, all, all, all in all quite neat and a, and a really good platform for this sort of conversion we think Definitely. just everything seems to fit nicely there's still it's still a practical car you know uh and stuff like that. and with the other one that we're building with the full tesla pack yeah we're probably going to lose most of the front yeah you know but we've still got all the boots still yeah uh, and that should see 300 mile range so that would be ideal be brilliant yeah brilliant well, uh, I'm sure we're going to get you uh, some shots and some video yeah. of you on track. Oh, yeah. Um, so keep it on the track. Yeah, I'll try yeah. to. Yeah. yeah, well, it's not mine. I've got it. So. <laughs> good, man. Right, good, cool. man. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, take care, mate. Look after yourself. Yeah, you too, bud. Cheers. Damn, use a sexy bitch. A sexy bitch. 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 Damn, use a sexy bitch. A sexy bitch, damn, who's a sexy bitch? A sexy bitch, damn, who's a sexy bitch? <laughs> So uh, I bumped into Dave. Hi. Uh, hi, Dave. Yeah, it was met you at the uh, EVs in the park, I think. Yeah, yeah Coventry. EVs yep. in the park. Yeah, and um, I uh, found out that you were doing modifications on ID threes. Beginning and, to, yeah. Yeah, and uh, since I've seen your amazing ID three, you've, you've uh, done a few extra bits on it. Yeah, we've done a few extra bits and pieces. So when you've seen it, it would have had eighteen-inch wheels. Yeah, which that's are right something we do as a direct replacement for the original wheel however we wanted to obviously up upgrade it and modify it so we've been waiting for these 20s to come from mac for months right. um they do them in an eight and a half by 20 but this is an eight by 20. yeah so it's more in keeping with with the electric vehicle because it can keep the standard 215 section tire so you don't lose your uh your low rolling resistance and stuff like that so, so the range is that Range should be theoretically the same as if you got factory wheels, 20 inch yep. wheels from, from Volkswagen yeah, and only slightly off the factory 18s. It was something that, um, as I'm sure you know, and if people are thinking about buying an ID3, is uh, a lot of ID3s come with steels with hubcaps. So, yeah. I mean, only very few models come with the alloy wheels. Pretty so, much, yeah. So you are definitely the man to speak to to make the uh, well, car look uh, more aesthetically pleasing. This was the nice thing. The majority of once you had the first edition, everything else that seemed to come into the country for the first three or four months just had hubcaps. Yeah. It's had hubcaps. And unless you ordered from the factory, you couldn't get the wheels. And then to get the wheels afterwards from Volkswagen was massive money. So there was a yeah, gap in the market. So we said, there we go. You know. EV quit. They're <laughs> we'll the people uh, you need to see. And uh, there was a, a last minute uh, upgrade to the ID3, which... Uh, yeah, I picked it up yesterday evening from ecofix in warwick who spent yesterday afternoon fitting our new iback uh, pro kit lowering springs yeah first set in the country again they've been coming since january um but COVID and all that yeah. but uh, we finally got them installed them I literally drove down here last week last night from warwick drives i would say almost the same on the road yeah um so not the, too not compromising with comfort too much maybe a tiny bit i mean the spring was mass was quite a lot different in height but it's a progressive spring yeah so it's just a higher quality spring so it it, it has i would say 90 percent of the ride comfort but also lower stance less roll handles really well on the track actually it doesn't it, it controls its body roll really well so yeah, yeah happy with that they they'll be coming on side soon as soon as we can get a stock of them 
we'll uh, put them on the website and have them for sale. Excellent. And uh, are there any other future models or any future um, modifications that you've got planned for the ID3 in um, terms of sale and what's going on in the car? Yeah, well, I mean, we want to do some styling bits like, you know, lip spoilers and stuff like that. We're just, again, working with suppliers to try and actually get them into production. Yeah. I'd like to do something with the interior because I don't really like the seats. Uh, keep the seats, but just put different covers on them to be a bit more dark and sporty like an Audi S line you know Alcantara leather that kind of yeah, thing I know what you mean. Um, I don't know I mean I kind of I want to change it because I like to change cars but on yeah. the other hand it's the perfect car for me it's the right size it's a good car for, for the business it's a good demo car it's full on the track you know I, I don't I don't see anything out there that's better no. at the moment no no I love the colour scheme as well the sort of the grey and the black everyone loves that colour they all everyone comments on it and it's, it's the free colour which is even better although have you seen the red one no. They're doing the King's Red from the Golf GTI, right. Mark 8 Golf, in the ID3 next year. Mm. Sounds quite nice. Very nice. I, I like the turquoise one. Is it, am, I, am, I, <laughs> am I too old for that? I don't know. Hey. <laughs> Show me age maybe there a little bit. But no, it's, it's great. I, I think it looks fantastic and it, it's great to see you here and uh, getting a part of TiVo's uh, EVO Yeah, track yeah. I was, I was delighted when John invited me along. I kind of said, look, it's not going to be great in the track. But he said, look, it'd be nice to have a bit of something different here yeah, definitely. and give it a go and it's it's actually impressed me i thought it was going to be you know not very good at all it's been really really impressive so no. not as good as his his tesla obviously. well but, you yeah know. that's uh, that's pretty hardcore isn't it yeah pretty that's amazing. the that's the next level but it's just to try and make these a bit bit cool a bit more mm. interesting to people who are into cars rather than just into evs that's so, that's kind of the road we're going down with it so website evequip.co.uk ev and on insta and socials how do we find at, you at evequip uk there we go. So yeah, if you want to modify your ID three or you, Tesla Model Three, or we do Tesla Model Three, well. there yep. we go. There we go. <laughs> Come speak to Dave at EV Equip, and uh, yeah, you could uh, make your ID three look as good as this. All right, good man. Thank you very much. Take care, mate. Cheers. So we're on the way back from the EV track day, the first EV track day ever in the UK. And thanks to John from TiVo for organizing it. And uh, it was great to have everyone there. And it was some amazing people that I met, some people I've met before and some new faces, which is, you know, it's great to connect. Um, I was lucky enough uh, to have a couple of laps in the TiVo Tesla Model 3 with all those modifications that we went through earlier. Um, and John took me out for a couple of laps and showed me how to drive it properly, uh, essentially, which was great as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're just driving back. We've got a couple of hours to go and we woke up at five o'clock to get down there early door. So we are shattered, uh, full of coffee. All the assistance systems are on, so we should be all right because we're in the lap of luxury of this RS uh, e-tron. So Yeah, sorry about that. I don't think my cameraman was ready for me to put my foot down. Uh, you know, I had to accelerate up to uh, the legal limit uh, swiftly uh, to get out of a bit of trouble. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I can't wait for the next episode. Um, it's going to be another good one.